Hey everybody, this video is going to be a reintroduction all about me. So if you are new here and you are curious about my journey to where I am today, stick around, this video is for you. All right, jumping right into my journey, my story. So I am located in Shelbyville, Kentucky, where I was born and raised. And um, I really think the, the most meaningful thing about my background, my growing up, is that I was a theater nerd. So if anybody um, could describe Allie from age maybe five all the way through college, it was that she really, really likes theater. So that was um, mostly musical theater, but you know, Broadway, uh, singing, dancing, acting, all the things, that was me. I did go to Western Kentucky University where I got a broadcast journalism degree and a theater degree and a political science degree. And I primarily chose broadcast journalism because to me it was getting to do acting but getting to be in front of the camera. Um, and it was a little bit more stable than maybe a theater degree would have been. So um, I you uh, chose broadcast journalism as my major and um, did an internship where I did get to do some TV reporting. Um, didn't love it, but um, of course, just finished the degree so that I could be done. I was offered a public relations internship at a company called Alltech in Nicholasville, Kentucky, uh, quickly after graduating college, um, which actually was such a huge blessing because I graduated in 2009, which was the height of the recession. So it was very difficult. Hiring was kind of frozen across the board um, where uh, through a lot of companies that I would have um, wanted to talk to. But um, Alltech was actually a great first um, job. They were the title sponsor of the World Equestrian Games that were happening in Lexington, Kentucky in 2010. So I got a great experience of getting to work with international journalists. There was over a thousand journalists that attended the World Equestrian Games and getting to interact with them for the full 10 day event that uh, it occurred and um, you know got it, kind of getting to see that um, down and dirty approach to how a, a full um, press uh, room works during an international event it was really eye-opening um, you know having been on the journalism side for a brief moment um, I kind of had an idea but really getting to see something like that take place um, was eye-opening and wonderful experience um, and I also got a chance to live in Ireland for a few, min a few months while I was also working with them and getting to work with their international uh, European marketing team. And so that was a wonderful experience and just across the board, um, couldn't have asked for a better first um, job out of college. I then moved on from there to the International Spa Association. Yes as in the spas where you go and enjoy and relax and practice self-care. And again, just a whirlwind experience because I got to travel quite a bit, got to uh, experience spas all around the world. And um, I really found my passion for self-care while at the International Spa Association. I was their public relations manager, so I did get to really kind of work on that national scale, international scale of, um, you know, taking the, the research and the statistics that the International Spa Association conducts every year and being able to apply that across the board with organizations and media outlets like uh, the Associated Press, uh, the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, uh, MSNBC, like we worked with some really big media outlets. Um, and I say we, um, I was the only PR person on the team and it was a small team, but, um, but the team there uh, that I did get to work with in other areas were fantastic and, and still some of my dearest friends today. Um, so gosh, to both of those roles were, um, I just couldn't have asked for a better um, career and um, really prepared me to do public relations and social media um, in my, in fame and fortune. Now I will say, uh, uh, social media for businesses was just starting out whenever I graduated from college. So it was kind of one of those things of everybody looked to the youngest person, which I was for the, for the longest time of 
how do we do this? And so it's really interesting that I'm now getting to kind of play that same role um, 10 plus years later. After the International Spa Association, I did get married and moved to another town and was able to find a role at Amazon where I was helping with their public relations uh, for the Southeast region of the United States. So um, from Texas over to Florida, up to Tennessee, a ton of travel with that job, um, getting to hold press conferences and interacting with media on a daily basis. Um, so it actually was very fast paced, um, broke my leg in the middle of that job, um, which was not very helpful when you have such a, a travel intensive role and um, getting to, to move all different directions. But um, so that's like a, one memory that sticks out in my head from that um, was being in a cast for a very, very long time. Um, but all that to say, these three roles have really prepared me for being the owner of Fame and Fortune. I have an awesome team that helps me with our uh, goal of increasing visibility for female entrepreneurs through social media and public relations. We also offer marketing coaching where we can kind of take your business one-on-one -on -one and be able to grow it through a variety of marketing tools. Um, so I'm just really excited about uh, the future of Fame and Fortune, not to mention I also added to my plate professor. Um, I am a professor of social media and of public relations at Midway University this year. Um, I have taught online and am doing in person uh, this semester as well. And it has been a thrill and really challenged me to kind of take things back to the basics and start to consider how these our topics are taught from the very basic and how we get to the end goal. We've partnered all of the students up with community organizations, nonprofits, and they're creating marketing strategy plans for these groups and I'm just really excited because not only is it fun to create projects whenever you're actually creating it for a real company, a real organization, but these organizations are so grateful for the the energy and the, the um, expertise that these students are providing in these plans. So I just think it's a win-win all around. Uh, it allows me to kind of teach to a specific project, which I think is a lot easier um, and, and everybody is just really thrilled with that. Um, so I want to ask you, now that you've heard my story, my background, um, I want to know from you what marketing tactics, public relations, social media, podcasting, what do you want to know more about? Drop those comments below so that I can make sure that I'm addressing those in future videos. Make sure you subscribe. I share marketing content for your business every single week. And so I want to make sure that I'm hitting all of those topics and I want to make sure you don't miss them in the future. So that is Allie Martin in a nutshell. Thanks so much for joining and I can't wait to see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.